higher. So this is a proof now to show that the sine theta is theta and the cos theta is theta and blah, blah, blah. Right, so let's have a look. So it says the area of the triangle O to A to B. So I've got the triangle O to A to B. I've got an R and I've got a theta and an R. So the area of that is going to be a half R squared theta. That sine theta, sorry. So it's a triangle. The area of the sector from O to A to B. So same idea is a half R squared theta. And then it wants a triangle from O to A to C. So O to A to C. Uh, it's going to be an R and a theta. Hmm. And let's just call that X for now. So we know it's a half base times height. Now I need to get that height in terms of some form of theta. So it's got the, uh, the opposite I know, because that's X, and I know that's the adjacent. So what I know sneakily for a second, is that tan of theta is x over r, so r tan theta is x. So if I use that for the triangle, my x will change. Uh, change color pen, let's pen down. So that's going to be a half r times by r tan theta. So, there we go, so a half r squared times theta. So, since these three are small, they're equal to each other. So, if I use the fact that the triangle from O to A to B is the same, oh, uh, you're a joke, no, bug off. <laughs> the triangle O to A to B is the same as the sector from O to A to B. Then a half R squared theta is equal to a half R squared. That should be a sine theta, though, shouldn't it? This is me trying to rush now to get it all in. So the half R squared disappear. And I've got the sine theta is approximately theta. So that's one done. If I do the next one then, so if I say that the, uh, the sector is equal to the other triangle, O to A to C, so I've got a half R squared theta, you can read it, is equal to a half R squared tan theta. So that's where my theta, or my tan theta is theta comes from. So the last one is a little bit more messy. He wants the length of the arc from A to B. Right then. So I've got to use the cosine rule for this one, for that length of my arc from A to B, because it's there. This is the one that I want. So it's going to be the length of the arc from A to B squared is r squared plus r squared minus 2r squared cos theta. So ab squared is 2r squared minus 2r squared cos theta. I can take out the r squared if you can read what I'm writing. So I can take out the 2r squared and I've got 1 minus cos theta. Now that gets all square rooted for the length of AB. And I'm on 4 minutes 23, so I've got to be quick with this one. Uh, now we know the length of the, uh, the chord is R theta. And if that's the same as the length of the arc, then that's roughly the same as a 2R squared 1 minus cos theta. So then R squared theta squared is approximately 2R squared minus cos theta. I've got 10 seconds left. So I'm just going to hang on there and let you catch up with that there. If you can actually read what I've written because of the board.